It's a recipe for success, one that you've probably seen before, but never quite like this, with ingredients that were pretty ingenious, cooks that were creative, and the final product, well, quite fascinating. And it all took place, not in the kitchen, but rather one of our very own local libraries, as the first ever paper birthday cake challenge was a big success at the Pearl Bailey Library in the southeast community of Newport News. This event is in celebration of National Library Week. The teen advisory members and the youth services staff got together and we were trying to plan activities that would be inciting and engaging for young people. And so a lot of the kids watched the Food Channel and they mentioned they liked to watch Ace of Cakes and Cake Box. And so we came up with the idea of having a competition, an ultimate challenge of making a library birthday cake. Well, we decided because of funding that we would use boxes. And then Sonia, Scott, and I looked in the closet and we had lots of materials, ribbons, foam, puzzle pieces, old puzzle pieces with missing pieces. And we said, well, we'll use all these materials and let the kids decorate a cake. I knew it was going to be like this, but I didn't think it would be like this much competition towards us. So that's when I knew I had to step my game up. All righty, tell me what you want to see. Right there. We explained to the participants that they were going to be judged on, number one, the theme of the cake. That it had to be related to the library. And then they could use any of the materials that we had available. Neatness and precision, choice and use of color, creativity. And the time limit, they had an hour and 15 minutes, but we extended it a bit because we wanted everybody to finish. So we went to about an hour and 45 minutes, and they did a great job. I did not know what to expect walking in here. I wasn't really prepared, and it turned out really good at the end because um, it's all about teamwork and um, determination to finish a product and be glad that you did it. Five minutes! Well, today, just seeing the excitement of the kids, the squill, the laughter of them going in and collecting the paper and the boxes and some even sketching out what they wanted to create with their cake design. Uh, to me, I think we're missing some of that by just sitting with computers and playing the games. It gives, it allow them a chance to be created. Three, two, one. Yes, when time was up, we tried to follow along with the Ultimate Cake Challenge, and so they had to pick their cakes up and walk them through to the meeting room and set them on the table. First of all, we'd like to give everybody a round <laughs> applause. The most original was number four. It came out with 82 Everybody getting together, showing some type of teamwork, some type of team spirit, is always fruitful for the individual and for the community. <laughs> Everyone was a winner. Well, that's about all the time we have for you this month. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Newport News in Review, as we've helped to bring history to life here at beautiful Enview Plantation, the perfect place to learn more about the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. And as always, on behalf of everyone here at Newport News TV, whether you're watching us on TV or online, at nngov.com, Facebook, or YouTube, thanks for watching. And we'll see you here real soon for the May edition of Newport News in Review, right here on Newport News Television.